Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. How long were the children of Israel in captivity? 59 years. 49 years. 70 years. 100 years. The answer is 70 years. Jeremiah chapter 25 verse 11. This whole country will become a desolate wasteland, and these nations will serve the king of Babylon seventy years. Question 2. What were Solomon's other names? Joab and Lemuel Jedediah and Lemuel Jedediah and Joab Lemuel and Jeremiah The answer is Jedediah and Lemuel. 2 Sam, chapter 12, verses 25, and Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 1. Then David comforted his wife Bathsheba, and he went to her and made love to her. She gave birth to a son, and they named him Solomon. He sent word through Nathan the prophet to name him Jedediah, the sayings of King Lemuel an inspired utterance his mother taught him. Question 3. Which king was guilty of idolatry in making two golden calves and commanding the people to worship them? Jeroboam Jehu Joktan Joram The answer is Jeroboam. 1 Kings, chapter 12, verse 28. After seeking advice, the king made two golden calves. He said to the people, It is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Here are your gods, Israel, who brought you up out of Egypt. Question 4. Who was the most wicked king of Israel? Abimelech Ahab Manasseh Menahem The answer is Ahab 1 Kings chapter 21 verse 25 there was never anyone like Ahab, who sold himself to do evil in the eyes of the Lord. Urged on by Jezebel his wife, he behaved in the vilest manner by going after idols, like the Amorites the Lord drove out before Israel. Question 5. What is the first city mentioned in the Bible? Babylon Nineveh Enoch Sodom. The answer is Enoch. Genesis chapter 4, verse 17. Cain made love to his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Cain was then building a city, and he named it after his son Enoch. Question 6. Which king was killed by his sons? Manasseh Sennacherib Ahaz Jotham The answer is 
Sennacherib. Second Kings, chapter 19, verse 36. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, broke camp and withdrew. He returned to Nineveh and stayed there. One day, while he was worshipping in the temple of his god Nisroch, his sons Adramelech and Sherezer killed him with the sword, and they escaped to the land of Ararat. Question 7. Which king of Judah was overtaken by an invading army and had his eyes put out? Zedekiah Jehoram Abijah Rehoboam The answer is Zedekiah 2 Kings, chapter 25, verse 7. The city was kept under siege until the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. He was taken to the king of Babylon at Riblah. Then they put out his eyes, bound him with bronze shackles, and took him to Babylon. Question 8. Which king's name meant peaceable? Manasseh. Josiah, Solomon, David. The answer is Solomon. First Chronicles, chapter 22, verse 9. But you will have a son who will be a man of peace and rest and I will give him rest from all his enemies on every side. His name will be Solomon, and I will grant Israel peace and quiet during his reign. Question 9. What is the name of the city to which Lot escaped at the destruction of Sodom? Golan Zoar Silo Kabul The answer is Zoar. Genesis chapter 19, verse 23. When the angels warned Lot and his family to flee from the impending destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah due to their wickedness, Lot pleaded with them to spare a nearby small city called Zoar so he could take refuge there. Question 10. Which king did God smite with leprosy? Athaliah Jehoram Amaziah Uzziah The answer is Uzziah 2 Chronicles Chapter 26, verses 16 to 21. Uzziah's strength caused him to become proud, which led to his destruction. He attempted to burn incense in the temple, an act restricted to priests. When the priests attempted to send him from the temple, the king became angry and was immediately stricken with leprosy. Question 11. Which king of Israel followed heathen practices by burning his children in the fire? Abimelech Ahab Menahem Ahaz The answer is Ahaz Second Chronicles Chapter 28, verses 2 to 3. Ahaz did the same things the kings of Israel had done. He made metal idols to worship Baal. He burned incense in the valley of Ben Hinnom and made his children pass through the fire. Question 12. Which king was on the throne of Judah when he was only 18 years old? Adonibezek. Jehoiachin, Joash, 
David. The answer is Jehoiachin. Second Chronicles, chapter 36, verse 9. Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem three months and ten days. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Question 13. What was the name of the king of Judah who had his eyes put out and then was imprisoned for life? Zedekiah Absalom Jehoshaphat Abimelech The answer is Zedekiah Jeremiah chapter 52 verse 11 Then he put out Zedekiah's eyes, bound him with bronze shackles, and took him to Babylon, where he put him in prison till the day of his death. Question 14. What was the Garden of Eden guarded with to prevent future access to the Tree of Life? A pillar of fire a cherubim and a flaming sword, a giant wall, Leviathan. The answer is a cherubim and a flaming sword. Genesis chapter 3, verse 24. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Question 15. Which aged prophet's hands were upheld by two persons and caused the armies of Israel to be victorious? Elisha Elijah Moses Hosea The answer is Moses Exodus chapter 17 verses 12 to 13 When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other so that his hands remained steady till sunset, so Joshua overcame the Amalekite army with the sword. Congratulations, you did it! You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.